Now, it looks a little clearer right now. There's a, a few a people place. saying that it might clear up towards open. the end. But it could be that when you first drive out, it's actually the best. So you've got to go with it. And you've got to drive hard, 100% commitment from the time you launch out the gate. We rode over the left shoulder of Shane Van Gisbergen in that last session, which was fortuitous because it turned out to be his quickest lap. You commented on what a great job he did, but what was evident was how judicious he was with the throttle usage. Thomas Randall has run wide, and this tradie car has been off the road several times. This is Jake Kostecki as we pick back up on Wind Cup at the top of the hill. He was working those front tyres hard there before. I think this is all about opportunism. You've just got to go out there. Maybe lap one turns out to be the best one. You'll only know with 2020 hindsight. He's a very, very fast young man from New Zealand, and he goes yeah, straight G1, to mate, the top. 29-6-1, superb lap by Heimgartner. That is a great job. But there'll be more to come. I'm watching the cars closely on pit straight, and the plume, the water plume behind the car, is minimised here, so there is a groove appearing, and Wind Cup went hunting for it when we were tracking him to turn 23, Murray's Corner. You can actually see the dry, the dry er groove developing, and he's turned it in from a position further to the centre of the road, and he actually stuck around the corner, straightened it up, and is hunting for those grooves, and he's wow. gone to the top on a 27. He's belted them by 1.9 seconds. That is unbelievable. It'll have a higher ability to squeegee the water, but a but a a one or two lap advantage in terms of its outright pace straight away. James Courtney now up to second. Cam Waters now goes to the top of the 26-1. At the moment, this is just going to spiral up. It's going to get faster and faster and faster until the heavens open again. So these tyres are squeezing water off the road and they're up at temperature now. They're going to be up around 90 odd degrees. And the longer they run, and the drier that groove, the quicker everybody's going to go. So watch for Mostert here. If he gets it stopped straight and sweet in the final corner, no sliding on the exit, grabs third gear, and that takes him to the top on a 25-2. He's put 0.25, quarter of a second margin on Cam. Now, Waters has gone quicker in sectors one and two than anybody else in the field, so he's on target to eclipse Mostert, who's got a 2.25-2 against his name. Courtney crosses the line. Is there some improvement? No. So that was about a tenth slower than his best lap. Waters now gets it into the 24s, and it's a 24.68. Instead of using the brake, he actually uses the engine to slow the car down in that zone, so it doesn't lock a wheel. A bit of engine compression to help the cause, and it also gives him the ability to throttle steer the car, and the car's less limp in that condition at that point. It's a little more responsive to your feet and your hands. He's gone to the top on a 24.2, so he's put 0.4 of a second on Cam Waters' wind cup. Here's his response. Now, he's been there or thereabouts, and he jumps back up into the top 10. He might be able to knock Van Gisbergen off. He might go to the top, and he does. To the 24.09, almost into the 23s. So whether that challenges that 24, it gets him into the 23s, I don't know. But I don't reckon, even if the rest of the track's OK, a slick won't cope with that no apex way. of the chase. Absolutely no way. So oh. you take that right out of play. Take a slick out of your mind. He's made so much ground here. This is going to be a ripper. It's a 23-8, the first of the 23s. He used first at the final corner there. He and had he to. barely actually stopped it. And we've got a problem here for car number 51. Richie Stanaray rotates down the bottom of Murray's. So Chaz actually had it fully chirping on the brake down there. And I, I stood back keep and thought, going, keep going. is right. he going to actually really make it? Then. He fed it first gear and rotated out the other side. He was on good lap then, Stanaway. That was Wayne Mackey on the radio. Now, he was on for P4 or P4 five at that point, stand away. So we've been talking about his superb performance, his skill in the rain, and, the, and it's just locked the rears. You can see those witness marks. He gasses it up, spins it around and straight back out. And he had the choice then, very clever. Would have been very easy to go in that sand trap. And he may move up from third. Then Davison, that is Will. Heimgartner, Wind Cup, Holdsworth, followed by Randall, Courtney and Brody Kostecki. Into the final corner now for Waters. Is the track condition deteriorating? Can they get away with it? Have a look at the windscreen. 
It's just having a little sprinkle. See, he's, he's got the wiper on, and he goes to the top with a 23 6 one, point two up the road from Chas Boston. Golding just got in it. Courtney moved up. Golding moved up to 10th. Courtney jumped to position number five. Right, These braking areas at the chase and the final corner are so intense. They're so difficult to get metre perfect. He comes out of the change of direction down into the final corner. He parks it on the driest section of road where the highest grip level is. Turns it back on itself, turns the tight line, only runs pretty much to the middle of the road, doesn't use it all up. And what's he do? Uh -huh. He goes up nine spots into eight. Which pushes Heimgartner to nine. We go back to Richie Stanaway, boost mobile entry, the wild card entry with Greg Murphy. So far, Richie is in the top 10. What a great storyline this is for our great race. Has he, go, has he got some improvement in him? Yes, he has. And Murph understands the implication. He moves it to position five. That's a great job. So he's actually moved it up a spot. Van Gisbergen's on a key lap here. We're inside three minutes. Holdsworth goes P2. Most it down to three. Watch for Van Gisbergen. And trouble here for McCauley Jones at the S's yeah, at the top no of the hill. He's whacked the yeah. wall. And can he get out of there? And will it impact the rest of the field? The flag is out. Will they let the field run? They'll all have to be aware of it as Randall fires wide. Now, Van Gisbergen over the top has gone very slow, Mark. So we call how quick he was in sector one. So Van Gisbergen has made contact or something's happened with he and Macaulay Jones. The pictures will tell us the story. I, I just had that weird premonition. Something. So an awkward moment when both drivers are fully committed to that lap and that's done a pretty serious amount of damage to the left-hand corner of Macaulay Jones' car and that was the reason why I called the 45-second sector split for Shane Van Gisbergen over the top of the hill. Let's just listen to this and watch. Macaulay wouldn't have seen him. He wouldn't have even known he was there. Macaulay concentrating hard going over the rise. It's a very difficult section of road. And guys at Tickford celebrating Sam Potter, Cam Waters fastest, Lee Holdsworth. Very, very good job. Would expect Mostert and Van Gisbergen to be in there. Fantastic, good lane. Stenaway, remarkable. So that's a fine performance by Cam Waters. He's achieved a two minute 23.6 to come home by two tenths of a second from a charging Lee Holdsworth. What an outstanding performance for Lethal. Chas Mostert gets it into the top 10. He's third. Shane Van Gisbergen with contact on the last lap is fourth. Richie Stanaway, man of the match so far today, position number five. Will Davison, Nick Perkett, James Courtney, Brody Kostecki and Will Brown squeaking into the top 10. The next group headed by Deep Pasquale, Heimgarten, a Golding Win Cup. Randall, Lowndes, Jake Kostecki, Reynolds, Hazelwood, Pye, and then the final group of cars, Pitha, Jones, Winterbottom, Fullwood, LeBrock, Charter, Smith, and Slade. That is our field of 28. They're set and sorted from positions 11 to 28 for the great race.